Hey guys, AJ here with Legendary Whitetails, and today I'm going to be giving a quick product review on the HuntGuard bibs and jacket. And uh, as many of you may know, HuntGuard line to Legendary Whitetails is brand new this fall. Uh, something, something really exciting because we finally got some gear that we can wear out in the field. You know, we're used to all, all this cool gear, uh, lifestyle apparel and stuff for us hunters, but now we got something that actually performs out in the field. And uh, man, first first year having it, they knocked it out of the park. I mean, a ton of thought and research and design went into these products, and uh, I couldn't have been happier with how it performed this fall. Uh, I had the chance to wear it all the way from November through January um, during Wisconsin's hunting season here, and you know the wide array of temperatures uh, stuff did exactly what it was supposed to. So with that. I'm gonna go over all the individual features and hopefully I can answer any questions you might have if you're considering buying this, this awesome system. So uh, I guess the easiest, probably just throw the jacket on and work from there. I'll try to give some close-ups along the way as well. So. so as you can see, um, let's start with the inner, inner side of the jacket and this is really where the magic happens this is a super versatile system it's got a removable liner but this liner is incredibly warm um, it's by far the warmest hunting jacket i've had and not only that but you get this jacket that's super warm without the bulk and and that crunch that a lot of the, the parka systems have you know um, it's super hard to bow hunt in something that's noisy, especially late season when that sound just seems to be, be traveling everywhere. Um, this is super quiet. Um, and like I said, so this, this inner layer has got what they call a reflex tech technology. Um, it feels very similar to like a, a down, a down type insulative vest, but it's not, it's I guess polyester, but, um, it is incredibly warm and uh, before I close it up here you can see there's one inner pocket built into the the inner liner and then let's just go work our way from the the outer side in hopefully I'm not covering up my mic here too much I'll move this. so anyway so here you got your basic system um, it's got right here at the waist draw cord you can pull it tight, you know, especially useful for your bow hunters. Keep it nice and tight to your body. When you're drawing back, you don't want that, that bulkiness um, fit. It is, I mean, the quietness of this is crazy. Um, it's got built-in inner stretch sleeves. Go with the thumb holes. It's pretty nice. And then a, a piece of elastic here that, that kind of keeps your cuff nice and tight. So you don't really have to worry about a ton of bulk on your forearms. So let's uh, back up. Tons of pockets on this thing. Um, so here you got your two chest pockets, left and right. So that's really handy for for being a left or right bow hander. A lot of times you might find a jacket with just one on on one side, which which really stinks if you happen to to if that happens to not be on your dominant side. But I found myself a lot of times throwing a grunt tube in this one and a rangefinder in this one. That way it just kind of keeps it close to my chest rather than dangling down. Um, super easy to, to access, you know, if you're, you're in that moment. Um, so these are really nice. Um, let's see, then you got your standard, standard side pockets here, nice, deep, quiet felt in the, in the inside. Um, everything's got zipper, so it's super quiet. It's got, uh, the tagging along the zipper, so it's, it's waterproof as well. Um, the entire outer system here, the jacket and the bibs, um, waterproof and breathable. Um, what else? So, oh, another awesome thing about the Hunt Guard that's pretty much exclusive to the Hunt Guard line is they got these little chunks of padding sewn in in strategic spots within the in the outer system. So you got the jacket, and I'll cover the bibs in a second. But so for the jacket, you got them along your forearms. You know, it's areas that usually experience stress or, or tightening. You know, on your normal sit. So what that does is instead of a normal system especially when it's on your knees you're not it's not pulling tight and and ruining your your insulation capabilities you know that insulation is really only working by by being allowed to to breathe and not being bunched up so these paddings um, 
and it's going to be especially great for turkey season when you're you're you know sneak stalking and stuff like that if you need an army crawl but mainly it keeps keeps the the warmth and the cold from keeps that cold from getting into your bones so it's got uh, forearms padding along there it's got the them along your shoulders which is really nice especially for your backpack too if you're wearing that and then if i turn around here you can probably see i don't know if you can see i'll give a close-up but it's along the back so when you're resting up against a tree stand during those long november sits or or um looking forward to testing it out and you know turkey hunting too and you're always kind of running gunning and plopping up against the back of a tree so let's see if there's oh along the side here um quiet mesh but then it's also got breathable breathable open vents that you can open on both sides um, really handy if you're you're walking in to stay cool and then um, it's got a removable hood as well the rain hood it's got the hard bill um, and you can adjust that in the back too so it doesn't give you that that kind of it moves with your head so that's nice you're not turning into your hood all the time um, let's see here now let's bust into the inside. I'll probably, I'm going to take out the liner so I can show you the full system here. So back into the liner system, it's got, got these zippers um, up along the middle seam, which is pretty common in, in jackets with removable liners. And then in the arms, it's attached by a, a quick button, button loop that, um, pretty easy to manage so there's one arm and then it's also attached with that button loop button loop in the back of the neck to hold the liner in so all right so that should be free and then last one like I said it's got this button loop boom and liner should be free so this is kind of what I was look, talking about where I said it kind of felt like a, a down liner but it's super warm it's got that reflex tech technology and you can actually wear this you know it's a really nice nice layer to have in, in any hunting system so this is kind of what the what the inner layer works um, and my favorite part about the inner liner is that it's actually got removable sleeves I find myself using this a lot during them kind of, I would say, 45 to 60 degree days um, when it's cold in the morning or night. And then uh, pretty much I would take the sleeves out and just wear the vest inside this jacket. That way, that way my bulk was down in my arms, you know, cause it usually warms up during the day. Bulk was down in the arms, which is, was nice for bow hunting and uh, was able to keep my core really warm yet. So like I said, super compressible. I mean, just a good, good layer to have anywhere. Um, it's also got the, the built, built in harness, harness strap. So you can throw that harness on before you get dressed, uh, feed it out the back and then it actually See, it goes out, goes out the back of the jacket as well. So then you pull your harness. Don't gotta worry about trying to fit that over all your heavy outerwear. Um, let's see. We got uh, two more inner pockets here on both sides, and I'll just show you the removable hood quick. Quick zip. So, like I said. Jacket's really versatile. Now I got just an outer waterproof shell. This would be perfect for early season, early season, even even turkey hunting. I would say you'll be. It's light enough to to wear. You know, I would say if it gets above 60 degrees, it's going to be start getting on the warm end. But to have a waterproof jacket that you can have that has that removable liner and is nice and light to throw on in case you do get caught in a storm, you know throw it on your boat whatever turkey hunting if it starts to downpour you got this jacket with you um, so aside from that let's move on to the bibs now 
Oh, looks like. See, you'll be you'll be finding pockets in here for days. Another interior pocket along the chest. And these uh, interior pockets are really nice, especially late season when you want to keep your phone semi-warm so it doesn't crash. I found the inner pockets were, were super nice at, at doing that. Um, all, right. all right, now onto the bibs. Um, let's see here. I might have to jump into these as well, but basically same construction on the outside. Um, super quiet, super warm. It's also got a removable pant liner, just like, just like the coat. Um, this one pretty much is Velcro up the legs. And then on the inside, it's got several snap buttons that, that hold it up. Um, and it usually it cuts off right about here, you know, just, just above your hips and it's got elastic. So it really locks in that heat. And then your jacket, of course, covers the top. So, uh, more pockets on the outside here. You got your standard, I'll jump into this so you can kind of see where stuff is located. Favorite part about this, I have a lot of long walks to the tree stand. So this gear is so warm that I tend to, to pack it in on my backpack, both the jacket and the, and the bibs. And then I get dressed right at the base of my tree stand. So um, the one, that's what I love. It's got a full, full leg opening. So when you get there, you don't have to take your boots off. Awesome. Um, really stinks taking your boots off in snow and trying to balance and get into your hunting gear at the base of your tree stand. But so then you got your two chest pockets here again, nice and big. Uh, these ones are also very nice to throw your phone in. Um, you got your two hip pockets really deep and then these giant thigh pockets, which are awesome. You just, I mean, whatever you got, you just throw in these pockets and you know, I was throwing a GoPro, my neck warmer extra pair of gloves, hand warmers, whatever, you name it, wallet, licenses, everything just goes in these pockets because it's so easy to, to pull in and out. Um, and then it does have one rear pocket as well, so throw your wallet or, or whatnot in there. Uh, and like I said, yep, full, full zip legs, nice and quiet, big zipper, easy to do with gloves on. And then on the bottom of this, probably can't see it, it's off camera, they got, uh, snaps that that you can adjust so you can kind of crank the tightness down on your boots so they're not super baggy so um, adjustable straps here the quick straps i got the circle circle buckle here pretty easy um I don't know if you can see in the back here it's your basic basic elastic bands that hold it up um, now let's move into the inside and so the pants i was talking about that that pro hunt guard pro padding that's that's included in these um and and the pants it's built in basically just to the knees knees in the back of the the butt area so pads are really nice like i said before when you're sitting in that tree stand, that cold tends to penetrate that tight spot on your knee. Uh, not with this system, with those, that built-in foam padding, really helps keep the cold out. Um, and also, you know, found myself a little late to the tree stand a few times and having to, to crouch down and kneel in the snow. Um, that was pretty nice um, to have, that your snow wasn't freezing to your, to your knee, but that padding was, was there to kind of block it. Um, suppose I could take out the, the liner and show you guys. It's basically the same as the jacket. It's got the about, let's see, one, two, three, four, looks like five snap buttons that hold it up around the waist. And then Velcro up the inside. Insides of the legs. Now, you might be worried a little bit about, you know, I know a lot of hunters hate the noise of Velcro, but you're not really gonna be making the decision to, to pull your liners in and out 
in the tree stand, you know, that's gonna hopefully come, come before you're out in the woods, but I guess for those worried about it, um, might be something to consider, but for the most part, I mean, I think this might be the first time I'm even removing the bibs or the layer of the bibs, so. I'm just open up this leg. But this system replaced, I used to, during my long sits and fold, I would haul this old sleeping bag out into my stand. And this has completely erased that need because of this insulation is pretty much like wearing a sleeping bag. So there you have it. Um, nothing too exciting, but liners do remove and then you're pretty much just, you got an early season system here now. You just got your, your overalls and a light waterproof, light waterproof bib layer. So like I said, the system is uh, virtually four seasons and you can wear it for anything, you know, especially I'll probably be, be throwing it on for some turkey hunting here in Wisconsin. Usually doesn't get too warm till the end of the end of May. So should work out good. Um, trying to think of anything else, but I'm sure, sure I missed a few features stuff. I'm still discovering every time I wear it, but it is, it is incredibly warm. I want to get that through first and foremost. Um, cause a lot of times that's what people are buying gear for. Yeah, is that warmth and this delivers um, and along with being super warm you know like I said it's versatile and extremely quiet you know uh, for a hunter it doesn't get get any better and highly recommend it I've been really pleased with it my first season so uh, check it out and uh, feel free to to reach out with any questions um, but I know you guys will be happy if you decide to, to pull the trigger on this stuff